Hey guys, what's going on? Jeff the Maintenance Man did something really stupid and I bricked my SANS device. And if you don't know what bricking is, it's when you are in the middle of uploading a program to a computer chip and the power goes out because some dumbass like me unplugged the power too soon and I thought it was done doing its firmware update and it turns out I cannot access my SANS device Christmas light controller anymore through the LAN. So let me show you um, if you've had this problem before and you try to do firmware update there's no reason to do a firmware update if this works for you. It's actually in this manual somewhere. I don't know where it's at but it, I mean this manual is very intensive and very long and shows everything of the controller. And uh, not to mention I did build this controller from the kit so everything was soldered by me it's worked for two three years and i decided to give that nice firmware there's a hidden firmware uh it's not been released or anything but it's a beta firmware so i decided to upload that and see how that works and it worked fine but then i was like you know what this is way too confusing um to get to learn a new uh firmware and uh Turns out that I tried to reflash it with the old firmware and I undid the cable and bricked the thing. So if this happens to you, uh, this is the video for you and this is what you need to do. I got a couple tabs open here. The first thing you need to do is go and purchase a parallax prop plug USB to serial converter. This is a little programmer that's going to go on to the programming pins here. You definitely need to pay attention to where the VSS is on, on the board, which is right here where my mouse is. And there's going to be a VSS marked on the back of this. As long as you got that, I think everything else will be fine for you. So I got one of these on order. And this is where I ordered it from, is from the robot shop. But I don't think it's going to arrive here in time for me to program this thing, get everything set back up. And stuff like that I just I don't think it's gonna happen this year guys that's the bummer the next thing you want to do is go to parallax downloads and then look for the propeller tool software and it's free you can click right here on the thing I've already downloaded it and um, you are also gonna need the firmware that goes with your device by going to sansdevice.com support over here and then click firmware it'll take you to this page you don't need the FW loader for this procedure um, because we are going to be directly flashing the chip with the programmer so you don't need that that's for the LAN part of it and this is how to this is a um, manual on how to do that and um, you need to read that about seven times. Apparently, it didn't help me out any. I still unplugged the dang thing when it was still firmware updating. But I had so many wires going on, and I unplugged the wrong extension cord, and I have uh, bricked my device. So what happens is it's updating the chip in live time. So it's writing all the information to the chip, and then you unplug it, it stops and it takes whatever programming it had but if it doesn't have the enough programming then you you won't be able to access it again so you need to put a, a whole new program on there so so you download the firmware after you've done that you can open the propeller software and it'll look well it won't look like this it'll it'll kind of look like this so You'll get a blank screen or whatever. So you want to go to file and you want to go to open. This is if you had the pro if you had that um, programmer already. So I have my two firmware files here that recently just showed you where to download. I would select the firmware file and click open. Load the EEPROM and it would ask you you got to make sure you have the right com port again i don't have the 
the um, the programmer yet, so it doesn't see the chip. But it's the first thing it's going to do is initialize the chip um, and get its uh, fuses and clock modes and stuff like that, and then it'll know that what type of chip it is. And then when you hit load e your EEPROM, it will uh, start downloading it onto the chip. And this is all the data that is in hexadecimal format that will go to the chip to tell it what to do. So this is machine code right here. And if you see not all of the chip is used, it does eventually... Yes, it does eventually go to zero. And then there's, looks like um, stack free memory right here. So, and on the uh, left side are your addresses. So you have 10 bytes, 20 bytes, 30 bytes, 40 bytes. On down the line there. So if you have a problem with your, um, your SANS device and you've bricked it being being kind of a dummy like me um this is one of the ways you can uh unlock it don't throw it out you know um because you can't access it and you think something's broke if magic smoke came out of it it depends i mean you could try to repair chips and stuff and order those chips um and just put them in there but definitely this is on the way, guys, but I don't think this is going to get here in time for me to actually be able to download the firmware. Um, not that it's a long process. Um, just because after I'm done downloading, I'm going to have to redo everything, figure out all my channels, networks. Uh, I haven't even wired anything yet. So I'm definitely late, and usually I start my Christmas show at December 1st, and it's the 9th today. So <laughs> looks like it's not happening this year. There's no point in doing all that work for just a couple days of flashy lights. So, you know, maybe next year. Guys, Jeff the maintenance man. Uh, have a good one, <laughs> and Merry Christmas, guys. Thanks for watching.